Hello, my name is Peter, and today I'm going to be doing a quick update on my Dwarf Orinoco banana plant. Um, this is the one that I have planted in the ground uh, and has been planted um, since I think the beginning of summer this year. I put a quick uh, clip of uh, when I first put it in the ground um, on the video. So as you can see, it has been growing um, new leaves still, even though we're now into October. It's the uh, 10th of October when I'm filming this, and it is, it is still pushing out new leaves, um, but definitely slowing down compared to what it was like um, in August. Um, but yeah, this plant has definitely not grown as much as uh, some of the other bananas I've got in the ground. It started at a, um, a taller, it was a bigger plant to start with when I planted it and it definitely took a while to get growing and you can also see some of the leaves it did put out have been relatively small um, whereas some of the other bananas that I'm growing uh, like this manzano at the side which I'll do a separate video of um, soon has definitely been pushing out larger leaves um, but this one here you can see it's a fairly recent one it's not a bad size um, but yeah most of the others are very small uh, there was a few other leaves that I had to remove because they have been on quite a while and they started to dry up this one's as you can see is also an old leaf and ready to be removed soon um, but yeah this plant is probably about I'd say about a meter in height um, the main thing that's interested me in the last uh, few months is actually the the pups that it starts to push out. I think I did show um, there was one or maybe two in the last update um, I noticed, but since then it has actually been there was an, an extra one that wasn't there last time. I'm just coming a bit closer so you can see a little bit better. Uh, this one at the back just broke the tip off a little bit um, yeah this one at the back is the largest pup as you can see this latest leaf has got some um, dark marks on and this I believe is because of the cold weather that we've been getting at night now it's getting down in quite easily into single digits at night now like six degrees I think we've had some nights as low as four degrees um, but yeah, that is probably why these leaves have started to uh, get these markings on. I've noticed that on um, other plants as well, and I noticed it last year as well with the baju. So that isn't going to be a, a major issue. Um, the main thing that I want to, uh, wanted to do with this plant is I wanted to try and remove one of these pups at least um, to then pot up on its own uh, so I could overwinter one inside and then I was going to experiment and overwinter the, the main plant in the ground so the reason of my thinking around that is because digging up the plant bringing it in and then replanting it again next year is quite um, quite stressful for the plant to go through that and having all its roots destroyed and then having to regrow them again every every time you move it around uh, and that definitely sets the plant back uh, quite a bit so I was hoping if I could keep it um, in the ground all winter and protect it I probably have to give it more protection than I give the, the musubashi but uh, Dwarf Orinoco is relatively cold hardy um, I know in the US um, people do protect these in zone I think down to about 7b maybe even 7a um, now we don't get as hot summers here but our sort of equivalent I guess would be around here we're probably like an 8b or a 9a something like that most winters you typically don't get much colder than about minus five even that is very rare uh, but it it is possible to get 
minus six, maybe even minus seven on a really cold winter. Um, which is why I definitely I'm going to have to give it more protection just on the off chance we get a very cold once every 10-15 um, year event and we get I don't want to lose the main pseudo stem um, so I'll do a separate video on protecting this plant as well as uh, overwintering my other banana plants um, but yeah the other pop at the front is also it's grown much slower um, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to remove this one it's definitely too small to remove even the one at the back um, is also not as big as I'd like it to be to be able to remove but I think it should be possible to separate that one I think it's likely got um, a few roots but I will uh, I'll have to remove it very carefully to make sure I don't cut through the um, the plant and uh, remove it properly from the from the corn. But also, I noticed um, just the other day actually that there is a a third pup that started to form here. Um, again, this one's much much smaller, so I'm probably just going to have to leave this one and mulch it really well. Um, so I'm going to have to give it a lot of protection around this area um, to try and keep it going over the winter. Um, again, it's most people I believe consider this one to be, if not the cold hardiest, or one of definitely one of the cold hardiest edible varieties of uh, banana. I think there's a there's another one or two that which are supposed to be slightly hardier. Um, in fact, even the Rajapuri, which is also considered to be a, a very cold, hardy banana, is still considered to be not quite as hardy as the Orinoco types. But yeah, I'm going to put that to the test this year, as I do have a few other um, dwarf Orinoco plants, which I'll be overwintering indoors, so I'm going to give it a bit of an experiment on this plant. Um, but yeah, that's the update on the Dwarf Orinoco, and I will uh, keep you all updated with the progress of this plant and the overwintering video when that comes out, I'll uh, show how I'm going to overwinter this particular plant. Um, and I'll also probably remove the pup as well at that point. Um, I'll have to do it before we get any any hard frosts. Um, ideally be this particular plant will probably want to do it earlier than the Baju. Um, I might need to do that um, probably early November. Just I'm going to keep an eye on the weather just to make sure it doesn't get too cold before then. Otherwise I'll just leave it until we get um, before we get any frosts I'll come and do the, uh, the winter protection on it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and ring notification bell so you can be notified when I release new videos. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.